Hey, this is Adam with the Productivity Academy. Uh, today I'm gonna show you a great mind mapping tool, uh, my personal favorite. Uh, but real quick, just wanted to say, if you want, you can subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button below and get uh, automatic updates from the Productivity Academy. And also in the description below, if you sign up to the, um, subscribe to the email list rather, um, send out some special stuff to subscribers from time to time, um, get some uh, additional information and uh, definitely send out some uh, extra stuff along with some polls and gathering some information back from the community. So uh, feel free to sign up. All right, uh, back to MindMeister. So this is a tool I've actually been using for several years. Um, and if you're interested in checking it out, um, you, there's a link below. They do have a free trial, which is pretty cool, so you can hop in. I'm, I don't know exactly, to be honest, because it's been so long. I've had it for so long. Um, I think it, the trial or the free um, version, I think it's just a limited number of mind maps, but otherwise I believe it's fairly um, full function. So um, if nothing else, go try it out, you know, check it out. I'm not going to spend a lot of time diving into like all the tiny details. I just want to show you kind of the overview and how um, how easy it is to use and then talk a little bit about why um, I think it's so powerful and why I use it. So this is just what one map looks like. You can create a ton um, and you can change a lot about them, the background, the overall um, colors, things like that. You can see in here, you can change the text, you can change um, this color, you can add a bunch of stuff, you can put attachments in here, you can add notes. Um, so again, it's more about what you need. There's a lot of flexibility. So you start off with the uh, central location here and then when you select it, you can hit tab to do a sub element. So I'm just gonna call this sub element, if I can spell it, sub element one. And then if you hit tab again, obviously you'd get that again. You keep going down like that. Um, if you hit enter, you get a, um, like a sibling element. It's on the same level. All right, so I'm just gonna do this a few times to show. So that's literally how easy this is. So you can go back to here and hit tab again and do sub element two, um, two, three, four, just putting some random stuff in here. And then you can do like click to hide. You can move these around, um, drag them around. Um, so hopefully you're seeing that this is really easy. Okay, this isn't like a really steep learning curve where you're gonna have to spend a lot of time. Um, there are some really cool things that um, you'll definitely figure out on your own. Um, but another great shortcut of this is you can go into public maps once you have your account and go into all the categories and look at all the ones that people have shared. So what you can do too, you can create uh, mind maps or templates um, and share them with people and you can import into your account. There's a lot of flexibility. So you can even like do this and then export um, as different file types. But I'll show you real quick, like let's see, productivity maps. Now I'm thinking maybe I should make a productivity map. Um, but this is cool. It's got a uh, to-do list, wireframing, um, personal task list. Personally, I, don't, I wouldn't use it for that, but again, um, there is some productivity and to-do and task list stuff that's built in that MindMeister has also done, so by all means, check that out too. Uh, for myself, it's more of a mind map and plot it, or, um, getting projects out. So, um, for example, I really like it for maybe like uh, a new large project where I want to share it with people and I want it to be somewhat organized. There's several tools I'll use for this, um, but I do like the fact that I can very easily, you know, clean things up by hiding elements. So you can maybe stick to, these are like the big ideas, like big idea one. And you know, behind that, you've got a ton of information and maybe some links to this and that. And you know, you write out a bunch of stuff, but the main idea, you can clean it up real quick and you know, keep things simple. So anyways, I uh, just wanted to share this uh, with everybody and hopefully um, you have time to check it out. I highly suggest you do it, you know, take 10 or 15 minutes to get started. Maybe the next time you have a project or you're wanting um, to kind of map something out and get it out of your head, uh, give it a shot. It's a really cool tool. Um, there's several others out there. Again, I've used a lot of them. I just, for whatever reason, MindMeister is the one that I've, I've gone with um, and I really like it. It's really flexible um, is one of them. And then two, it's just appealing to use. Uh, which for me is nice because if it's something's hard to use or it's not really aesthetically pleasing, then I end up not using it as much, which kind of defeats the purpose. So anyways, give it a shot. Um, and again, if you're new here, uh, hit the subscribe button and stay up to date. Otherwise, I will catch you all later.